on this special day for us. Uh, this is an exciting day for us as the church as this is our 120th homecoming celebration and we praise the Lord for his faithfulness, uh, for what he's done for our church and, and so many of you who have contributed to that in your families through the years. So thank you for being here. We're excited. We started the grills over there at 5.30 this morning, so we got a big spread waiting on us on the other side. Uh, but we are glad this morning to have the Browders with us. They're going to be leading us in worship this morning. Uh, I've got a few things that I'm going to share, not really a, a sermon. Uh, somebody put on the Facebook page that, that we're going to have a short sermon from Brother Ruben and, and somebody accused us of false advertising. Uh, so I, I want to make sure I live up to the claim, right? Uh, but I do want to get our ushers, if we could, get our ushers to go ahead and come. We're going to receive our morning offering while they get tuned up up here. Uh, and then I'm going to get out of the way because I don't want to interrupt them. We're going to uh, kind of like Lazarus loose them and let them know. And so we're glad to have them with us this morning. I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer as they come. Uh, and we're going to ask the Lord's blessing on this service today. And I want to encourage you. I know sometimes we're a little bit we're a little bit cold when we first get started. I want to get going and shake the jitters out, right? Get woke up. Get your mind clear. Get your heart clear. Let's pray right now together. Search your heart. Let's worship this morning. 120 years, a barbecue pit full of chicken and ribs and all that. None of that means anything today. You hear me? We're here today to worship Jesus Christ for who He is, for what He's done for us. And, and shame on us if we do anything but lift high His name. So ready yourself right now to involve and engage in worship. Let's have a big time in the Lord. Amen? Amen. You don't have to do better than that. Amen? Amen. 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 Now keep them coming, right? Amen. Let's pray. Our Father, we love you and we thank you today for the privilege we have to be in your house. We ask you this morning to do what no man can do. Move in our hearts and our spirits today. We pray that you'd bless this group, that you've brought our way, that you'd anoint them and give them the grace today to do what you've called them to do. I pray that we'd be led to the throne this morning. God, through the, uh, through the instruments of these vessels, but God, by your Holy Spirit, I pray that you would blaze a way for us today to get at the very feet of Jesus and worship. We pray that your will be done in this service, your name be magnified and glorified, and we'll be careful to give you all the honor and glory for what you do here today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
heard pastors say a month ago we came to lift him up. He is worthy. There is no other name in heaven and earth where men can be saved except the name of Jesus. There is no other name that puts the devil on the run in the name of Jesus. I'll introduce the hero of mine. He's not just another legend that lived. The heavens declare how awesome he is. disease, the lame leap for joy, and the blind that I see, I'll praise him forever, he gave me life, my heart will proclaim, that he is the Right now it's hard to 
There's no one out there that wants to knock you down. He wants to keep you down. He don't want you to accomplish anything in life. He don't want you to accomplish anything for God. But every stumble block that the devil's thrown in my way, I'm going to just turn it into a stepping stone. The devil has played havoc, beat my heart like a drum. He always strokes his ego when I feel like giving up. But I proceed with power. The feet won't be my thing, oh no. I will not fall victim to the traps old Satan plays. I choose to use his stumbling blocks, stepping stones. I used to be a laughing stock I did not down the top of law The devil meant to set me up For my greatest fall I choose to use to be stumbling blocks Step and stall I choose to use this 
You can burn your bathroom down without catching your house on fire. <laughs> but hey, we picked up a few Yankees on the way, and man, they're doing a fabulous job. I love them. I've had the opportunity to be in this young man's life since he was about 13 years old, and it's been it's been a great journey to watch him grow in the Lord, grow in talent. Uh, he started coming down and spending the summers with me and Sonia, and. Uh, Started carrying in equipment, helping us on the road. And before too long, he picked the guitar up. And I showed him some chords, and Dad showed him some chords. And then he just took off with that thing. And he's been playing the guitar now going on eight years. Are you enjoying our guitar player? This is my brother-in-law, Burton Lowe. Right here. Back on the drums, been with the family now for around three months, doing a wonderful job. He's from Kingsport, Tennessee. He's one of the finest drummers in the country, and he's just like family to us. Q, would you salute everybody today? This is our drummer, Q. Over to my wife, is my wife. This month is 14 years of marriage, and we got a surprise on the bus, Nick. We got a surprise out there on the bus. She's back. She's right back there. Bring her up here just a minute. Listen, I'm proud of this little girl. I wanted a baby girl. And me and Sonia was married about 12 years before she got pregnant with Sadie. It was around 13 years before she had her. And she'll be a year old this month. This is my little baby, Sadie, right there. Okay, that's her daughter saying. This is my wife on the keys singing beautiful. This is Sonia Browder. Would you like her? My husband writes most of the music that we do. Almost everything that you'll hear this morning, or maybe that you've heard of the Browders on the radio, is something that he has either written or co-written for a total of 12 number one songs now. You're glad to see my husband, Matthew, here today. Yeah. Yeah. To my left is my little brother playing the bass guitar, singing the high part. This is David Browder. Would you make him welcome? <laughs> to my far left, my dad's been in Christian music now for over 50 years. He didn't let a thing like polio Stop him from doing something for God. Would you make my dad, Mr. Tommy Browder, welcome? <laughs> to I want Dad to do his testimony song for you right now. It's one of the Browder's most requested songs. Be grateful, cause I am 
I want to say what a joy it is to be in God's house this beautiful homecoming day. I always loved homecoming. I always did. Usually a good crowd turns out. A lot of food, fellowship. We used to have all days meeting and dinner on the ground back home. And I love homecoming days. I was stricken with polio when I was two years old. The other the doctor gave up on me and called my dad in one day and said, Mr. Browder, we've done all we can do for your son. There's no way that he's going to live. But then the heavenly doctor said, I've got a plan. And that plan, no doubt in my mind, was for me to be doing what I'm doing here this morning, giving God praise. Living life with the affliction of polio is not an easy life. But you know, life without a challenge is a dull life. And I've had an exciting one. God has blessed me so. He blessed me with a group since 1976. Blessed me to start this group in 1990. My dream and my vision was what you see on this stage. And God has brought it to pass. I love you. Polio left me with my right arm and hand completely paralyzed. It would take a miracle for me to be able to play any instrument at all. But I met that God of miracles on my knees when I was only eight years old. In an old-fashioned revival, meeting in a little storefront church. My dad was preaching that night, you must be born again. I felt the conviction, power of God. And when the altar was, uh, call was given, I led my way to an old-fashioned altar and gave my heart and life to Jesus. That same year, he gave me my first song, three verses and a chorus. And I desired to play music with those songs he had given me. That dream came true when some volunteer music teachers came to our handicapped school. One of those was a guitar teacher. My school teacher saw my interest in the guitar, bought me my first one. Shortly after that, my mother of eight children threatened to chop it up for kindling. I was beaten and banged trying to learn how to play with one hand. Even after they went to sleep. But after much prayer and dedication, one day the thumbs started working, the fingers started working. 52 years ago, I started on a journey from my Hilton's Virginia home, playing for different groups. That journey brought me here to the great state of Louisiana to worship a few fine folks. To let you know, Philippians 4 and 13 says, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.
Sam and daughter in law, Sonia, and the birth that helped me on this one. Amazing grace.
Oh, my God.